So here's day two of uh, our series that for when you're away at races and you need something to do in the afternoons, you need a little bit of uh, trunk work and a little bit of flexibility. So first exercise is your supine. Feet are six inches off the ground. We've done this before. But now you raise one leg and then you come down nice and slowly back to that spot. You got one, the other, and both. We're not changing speeds. This one is all slow. You pick the number you want. Thank you. Now your legs are wide and you're gonna do a sit up. And as you do the sit up, you bend the leg. Uh, we'll do bend one leg, yep, that's okay. Then you go down, bend the other, and go down, and then bend both. And the thing about the down is go down and try to keep your body nice and straight when you go down. And when you come up, it's not a sit up from the stomach, it's a full straight spine sit up, okay? Yes, exactly, that's good, that's a tough one. Okay, number three, it's uh, supine legs at 90 degrees, 90 right up, both straight, and you're going side to side. So you wanna keep that angle between your legs and your stomach, very good. And here you'll be changing speeds, just like the last exercise, and uh, you pick the number you want. Now, you're going side to side, but we're gonna do um, each one of these slow, medium, fast, each side. So you're at the top, you go quarter down, up. Half down, quarter, half, up. Three quarters, half. Three quarters, quarter, three quarters, up then full, three quarter, full, half, full, quarter, full, all the way up. So you would do that slow, medium, fast on each side. That's really well done. Good concentration and uh, good stomach. Okay, supine, we're doing the pommel horse move. So bottom leg is touching your glute, top leg's over. You're gonna throw your legs and one will follow the other very wide. Good stretch of the groin and keeping good stretch of the back, keeping that back on the ground at all times. Thank you. Now we go back to the six inches and raise the legs, but now you're doing medium speed. Okay, and you pick the number that you would like. Thank you. Now we're doing the wide leg sit-ups again, straight body sit-up to a bending leg and a kick. So you got the sit-up, the leg bends, you kick it, you come down. Sit-up, bend, kick down and both, and again, we're keeping a nice straight body. All right, thanks very much. Now, we're supine and we're doing a hamstring stretch while we fall back. So, one leg is straight that you're holding the quad. So hold your quad, yes. So do it. you're gonna bring it back to you, do a sit up, you do that twice, one, two. No, sorry, keep holding, it. keep holding of it at all times. So hold the quad, fall back twice, once, twice, thank you. Now hold your knee. Fall back twice, one, two. Now your ankle, one and two, very good. And do the best you can holding the foot. Yes, once, twice. That one, if you just did once uh, on each leg, that would be sufficient, thank you. Now you're on your stomach, prone position. The upper body's off the ground and you're gonna do uh, breaststroke arms yeah, you're gonna do whatever number you want, slow, medium, fast in that direction, and then the other direction. Now this next part of this exercise is you lift both off the ground, legs and arms, and you'll do the same thing. We don't have to do anything with the legs, just keep it off the ground. Thank you. Now stay in the prone position. We're doing, um, here we go. We're doing prone, catch the heels. One, the other, both. So one, the other and both. And if it's easy, you can get fancy by crossing your hands, crossing your legs, all of that. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to supine. Again, six inches off the ground. We're doing that same raise and drop, but we're doing it fast. Drop fast and then absorb. Very nicely done, thank you. Now we're doing the, the pose plank series. So you're in a push-up position and watch the series here. So legs are straight, so you bend your body and you raise it. Okay, you do that you know, five times or so. Then you do it with one hand. Okay, then the other hand. Then both hands are on one leg. And the other leg. Then opposite arm, opposite leg. And opposite arm, opposite leg. Well done, same arm, same leg. 
Beautiful, and you oh, very good. You're trying to get the best you can to stay level. Thank you. Now we got to do that same thing on your backs. So, you try not to touch the rear end. So here we go. It's up and down for the first one. Then the one arm, the other arm, one leg, the other leg, opposite, opposite, same. Good one. Very tough and same. And now we have a little bit on the side. We'll just do one side, but you know you have to do both. So the arm is straight, no, so our straight arm. And you're gonna go down with your hips and up. Just make sure the hips are pushed forward. Okay, you got that. And then you're gonna do it with the upper leg off the ground. Uh, you can do both, yeah, that's more ski-like. You'll do that one. And you would do upper, which you did, thank you. Okay, now last thing is jumping off the knee series. So you're, you're stretching your quads a little bit and then you jump up and land in the squat. And we'll only do one of each, but you have two of each of the next one. We have a 90 turn. First time you would turn there, left. Next one would be right. Now you're doing a 180. That's great. And now you got a 360 or the best you got. Nicely done. Just remember to always stretch those quads. Thanks very much. That's day two.